Six former eBay workers are charged with harassing and cyber stalking a Natick couple. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. That couple publishes a newsletter which covers eBay and its competitors. And prosecutors say the eBay workers were so upset about that newsletter, they waged a war of harassment that included sending this bloody pig mask and a book about coping with the loss of a loved one right to their door. WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Natick with this wild story. Christina. Well, David, when this allegedly happened last August, these people were high-ranking eBay employees, and now a half a dozen of them are facing charges of conspiracy to commit cyber stalking and conspiracy to tamper with witnesses. These are some of the disturbing things former eBay executives allegedly sent to a couple in Natick, a mask of a bloody pig face, a book on how to grieve the loss of a spouse. A systematic campaign fueled by the resources of a Fortune 500 company to emotionally and psychologically terrorize this middle-aged couple in Natick. Inspired by the movie Johnny Be Good, they ordered everything from live spiders, a box of cockroaches, a preserved pig fetus. The U.S. attorney says the former eBay employees wanted revenge for negative articles the couple published on their blog about e-commerce. eBay executives were not merely unhappy with the victim's coverage, they were enraged. One of those executives texted that he wanted to, quote, crush this lady. These are some of the many messages sent from allegedly fake accounts. I will destroy your family and business, too. Pizzas were delivered at 4.30 in the morning and 11 o'clock at night. Pornographic magazines were sent to neighbors. The affidavit says they even traveled to Natick to do surveillance on the couple's home and put a GPS tracker on their car. eBay fired the employees, sending a statement apologizing. The company cooperated fully and extensively with law enforcement authorities throughout the process. eBay does not tolerate this kind of behavior. This case is a reminder, one of hundreds you could find on a given day, that our local police departments are not optional. They are, in fact, crucial. The U.S. attorney also said the defendants lied to investigators and even lied to eBay's own company attorneys. They each face a maximum possible 10 years behind bars if they're convicted. In Natick, Christina Hager, WBZ News.